Hello everyone. Welcome to SolidWorks Weldman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be creating 3D wireframe sketch for this framework. Let's get started and stay tuned. Go ahead and open up new part file. Select part file template, click OK. We have got two main options to create the 3D wireframe sketch. We can solely use 3D sketch or we can use 2D and 3D sketches together. It is always good practice to use 2D sketches wherever possible. It gives you better control over the part. And also, most of the designers are comfortable with 2D sketches. In this video, uh, I will mostly use 2D sketches. Let's uh, select these three plane pressing control key first and make them visible. Now select top plane and right click. We will begin the sketch on top plane. Before proceed with the before proceeding with the sketch, have a look at the dimensions. The Weldman structural member command is, member is created by sweeping sketch profile sketch along a path segment. By default, the path segment is aligned with the origin of the profile. But still you can change this PS point manually with, with any PS point on the profile sketch. Based on these dimensions, the path segment is aligned with the center of the profile. So let's create center rectangle 420 by 370. Expand rectangle tool, select center rectangle draw a rectangle and add dimensions horizontal 420 vertical 370 and exit the sketch press ctrl 7 to see the orientation before I proceed with the other sketches I will add necessary reference planes to support them. I will create three planes parallel to top plane at this level and at 450 and at 850. And I will create another two reference planes parallel to right plane and passing through the sketch lines. Passing through this line and passing through this line to create side elevation sketch. Go ahead and click on reference geometry and select plane. Now plane property manager is presented and use this push pin to keep it visible. Under first reference select the top plane and now for the length enter 100 millimeter preview looks good and click ok and select the top plane again now select the top plane again and enter the distance 450 millimeter the second plane is created 450 millimeter from top plane click ok and now it is the third plane which is 850 millimeter from top plane click on this box under first reference select the top plane and the distance value Enter 850 millimeter. Click OK. Oops. Uh, 
undo the command go to this one this is 450 okay and uh, go to reference plane fill up top plane and 850 click ok double click middle mouse button to zoom all in now we have four sketches four planes and now let's create two more reference planes parallel to right planes click reference geometry click on plane under first reference select right plane and for the second reference instead of entering dimension value click on this second reference box and select this line now you can see the plane is created but it is not in right orientation so using this three option make it perpendicular oops no from this option make it parallel all right use the push pin to keep visible click ok again under first reference select right plane and for the second reference select this line and for the option instead of perpendicular make it parallel click ok exit the command oops exit the command now all the planes that we need to create the 3d is 3d wireframe sketch is created let's begin sketching select this plane and go to sketch press ctrl 8 to make the sketch plane parallel to computer screen and now we are going to use this base sketch to create the, the sketch on the second plane we will use we will project the whole sketch onto this plane using convert entities command it is always good practice to keep the relations between the sketches it it also gives you better control over the design you can easily change the size and modify the part quickly and now we are in the sketch environment can go click go ahead and click on convert entities and make sure select chain is checked and now select this sketch the whole chain is selected and click ok the sketch is projected onto the plane at 100 millimeter exit the sketch do the same thing to the other plane as well which is the plane at 450 millimeter click on the plane select sketch from context toolbar and go to convert entities make sure select chain is checked and select this base sketch and click ok the sketch is created and exit the sketch now go to the top plane most top plane and go to sketch mode press ctrl 8 to make the sketch plane parallel to computer screen in this plane we do not need to have the rectangle we just need a line which is 100 millimeter offset from this point to this direction which is to create this cross member so now we are going to use offset command the dimensions is 100 millimeter we do not need to have this select chain option and now I'm going to select this line you can see the preview looks good and uh, click OK we really don't want to use this line so convert it to construction geometry by using context toolbar selecting the line and using context toolbar convert it to construction line now we, I'm going to create a drag this dimension I'm going to create a point in the middle of this line this point would be used to create use as a reference to create the side elevation sketches in the next sketch now sketch is completed 
and exit the sketch. Press Ctrl 7 to go to isometric view. Now it is the side elevation sketch. Click on this plane and select sketch command from context toolbar. Press Ctrl 8 to go to isometric uh, to have uh, sketch plane parallel to computer screen. I will uh, temporarily hide the reference planes so that it is easy for me to see the sketches. So using this hide show icon, unselect this view planes. Now all the planes are hidden. Now I'm going to use these two line as reference for the side frame, side elevation sketch. Click on convert entities and we do not need to have this select chain option. Select this line and this line and click OK. The two lines are projected to this sketch plane. Convert it to construction. And we need to have this point as well projected onto the sketch plane. Go to convert entities and select this point and click OK. All right, the point is selected. Press Ctrl H to have the sketch plane parallel to computer screen. Now go to line tool, draw a line between this point to this point, and reactivate the command and draw another line from this point to somewhere here and. Continue the line from this point to oops, draw a line from this point to this point. Now we have to add few dimensions. You can see the arc radius is 500 millimeter. Go to dimension. Oops, we have to create the arc using fillet command. Click on fillet, enter radius 500 millimeter, select this line and this line. Here we go, the arc is created. But this sketch is still not fully defined. We need to add few more dimensions. You can see from here the straight part is 469 millimeter. So let's add the dimension. This dimension is 469 millimeter. Click enter. All right, the sketch is fully defined and uh, that's all we need on side elevation sketch and exit the command press ctrl 7 to go to isometric view and now i will make this plane visible again click on this view plane and the other sketch is on plane 6 select the plane 6 go to sketch mode now i'm going to project the same sketch that I created on the other side elevation to projected on this plane. Use convert entities, make sure select chain is checked and select the sketch. This line and this line. And click OK. The sketch is projected. Exit the command. Uh, I will go back to this sketch again and uh, I will go to edit we might actually want to use this so I convert this to uh, normal geometrical line exit the sketch all right the 3d wireframe is wireframe looks good and hide all the planes we have one more sketch, one more sketch to create, which is the sketch line for this this member. So I'm going to use 3D sketch for this. So now go to sketch, X, sketch command manager, expand the sketch tool, and select 3D sketch. Now we are in this 3D sketch environment. When you click on a command, you can see 
the cursor is different. Now we are in the XY plane. The line command is activated and let's click on the line somewhere here. Now again you can see the cursor is changed. Now the two axes are highlighted in red. So this is X and Y axis. When we are in the 3D sketch, we can create a 3D, 3D, 3D sketch environment. We can create a 3D sketch. We can create a sketch on any plane, XY or XZ or YZ. We can activate it, each plane by pressing Tab key. When you hit Tab key once, you can see the color is changed. Now YZ is activated. The line I'm, I will, the line will be drawn on this YZ plane. When I hit the tab key again, you can see XZ is activated. The line will be drawn on XZ axis, XZ plane. For this, we actually want to have XY plane activated, and use always use this support dotted line to align the geometry with X or Y axis as required now i will create a line which is parallel to x axis using this sub dotted support line and i will click on this line press exit command escape command to exit now we need to add a dimension to make this fully defined and uh, click on dimension and select this line and this line make it the dimension is 175 click enter exit press escape to exit the dimension command you can use a middle mouse button to rotate the model all right now exit the command and press control 7 the 3d wireframe sketch is completed in my next tutorial, I will use this 3D wireframe sketch to create, to build this chair frame using Weltman tools. Until then, bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, add your questions and concerns into comment field. Subscribe the channel to get new videos. Thank you everyone for watching.